Iowa is a patchwork of flat, windy farms and towns that have seen better times. Early is one of them. Unremarkable until one terrible night before Christmas in 2001. And I just looked at them and I go, is my son here? And they go, yes. And I go, is he dead? And they go, yes. What happened in this small town is so sinister and chilling, it's almost too hard to believe. It's a story of love, betrayal and murder. And at the centre of it all are two confused young children and their Australian father, who are just desperate to leave America behind and start a new life back home. Do you feel like you're on the run? I am on the run. I am on the run. The sand at the Gulf Coast is pure white. Michael Roberts is stranded in America and his two children are essentially trapped here by their murdering mother, Tracy Roberts. The jury find the defendant, Tracy Ann Richter, guilty of the crime of murder in the first degree. Is that your verdict? She is serving a life sentence, but her grip and manipulation extends far beyond the razor wire. I mean, if she's not evil, I mean, I don't know what evil is. If that's not evil, I don't know what evil is. Tonight, an Australian father fights for his kids, a fresh start, and even his own life. When I woke up, I had a plastic bag over my head. This twisted tale began with a whirlwind romance. How did you get to know her in the first place? Uh, Tracy contacted me. We were one of the first internet marriages. You married pretty quickly, didn't you? When Tracy came to visit in Australia, we actually got married uh, about 18 days later. They posed like the perfect couple. Michael is smitten. He packs his bags and follows Tracy to America. When did it start to wash over you that things weren't right? Two months after I landed in America, I knew she was having an affair. So I didn't want to be another statistic, so I made a conscious decision to attempt to love her until she loved me back. Michael's perseverance seemed to work and soon they had two children. But the marriage deteriorated and there was a major source of tension. It turned out Tracy also had an 11-year-old son by a previous marriage and she was locked in a bitter custody battle with her first husband. That battle would lead to murder. What happened in this house? This corner bedroom upstairs. There was a body on the floor. There was nine empty cartridges mm. and uh, the smell of a butcher shop. It was two weeks before Christmas in 2001. Tracy had shot and killed a man in her bedroom. The terrified children are hiding in the house. Michael is interstate on business. Tracy's story was that this was a home invasion, that she was threatened and she killed him in self-defense. That was her story, yes. The victim is 20-year-old Dustin Wee, a neighbour with learning difficulties. Tracy claimed Dustin broke in and attacked her. So she shot him nine times, including three bullets to the back of the head. Tracy was hailed as a hero for killing the alleged home invader, but it was all a lie. Why would Tracy make out that he would break into your home that night? She had constructed a, a story that her first husband had hired a hitman to kill her, or hitmen to kill her, and in order to support that allegation, she needed a body. The way you even describe that. It's absolute cold-blooded. 
I mean, it's horrific. It was premeditated murder. As outrageous as it sounds, Tracy even coaxed the impressionable Dustin into writing a journal saying he was a hired hit. All of it, an elaborate plot by Tracy to frame her first husband in order to win full custody of their son. She hated her first husband so much that she executed somebody to make it look like he did it. Amazingly, Tracy got away with it for nearly a decade, and might still to this day, if not for county prosecutor Ben Smith. He dusted off the weedy cold case when he took office in 2010. But these original files have been sitting around for pretty much 10 years. Pretty much 10 years without much change. He started reading and then began questioning Tracy's story. Dustin Weedy was the perfect person for this. You know, he's not the most popular kid in class. He didn't have a lot of friends. But she couldn't have gotten anybody else to, to, to do that or go along with that, you know. You spent a lot of time in the courtroom trying to get inside her head. How would you describe Tracy? I mean, she's a liar. Um, she only cares about herself. You know, there's not, there's not one thing that comes out of her mouth that isn't either A, just a flat-out lie, or B, um, a statement made for the purposes of getting something. How did you fall in love with someone who would turn out to be a sociopathic murderer? I'm not sure if I ever fell in love. And I didn't know what she was. It was a gradual, a gradual uh, revelation, I guess. Finding out the true reason of why Tracy took my son's life to this day um, haunts me. Mona Weedy is Dustin's mother. Because in her process of trying to save her own son from her husband, she chose to take my son away. And that's just so hard. But how do you describe the sort of person that does that? A very evil, evil person. Just... Once a friend of the Roberts, Mona's suffering is hard to imagine. She lost her son to Tracy's gun, only for her husband, Brett, to then commit suicide, believing his son was the villain. You know, and in my opinion, she killed my husband too. You know, it's not, he didn't just go out to our son's gravesite and put a bullet in his heart because he had no pain. You know, she did that to him. She drove him to that. And Michael Roberts only compounded Mona's grief because in the years following the murder, he went along with his wife's version of Dustin's death. I chose to believe her, and I convinced myself that her story was the truth. That's an incredible lie to live with. I was lying, but it was subconscious. It was, a, it was, a, uh, it was just a choice I made. Were you protecting her? I don't know what I was protecting, but I was wrong. Whatever Michael was telling himself, he got caught in the web of lies. So much so that he would come under suspicion for involvement in the murder when a police polygraph he took was inconclusive. But then, three years after Tracy shot Dustin Weedy dead, Michael would finally see his wife for who she really was. On the 5th of March, 2004, Tracy takes out a life insurance policy on you for a million dollars. Did you know about that? Uh, only when it arrived in the mail. Why would she want that policy? Because of what she did a few days later. What did she do a she few days later? She attempted to murder me. She had drugged me and I uh, went to sleep on, on the bed and uh, she had rolled me up in a um, king size cotton sheets. And when I woke up, I was in a, like a cocoon state. And she was sitting on top of me and I had a plastic bag over my head. 